sound check. My parents were World War II veterans, and I grew up listening to big band music as a kid because my mom would play those records. Glenn Miller, Tommy Dorsey, Artie Shaw. And I know that that group of people that is known as the greatest generation, I know how much this music means to them. Arts Bonita, formerly the Centers for the Arts Bonita Springs, is all about arts. And we wanted to bring South Florida Jazz Orchestra here. And we were talking about the date and just happened to be on November 11th, and Chuck came up with a brilliant idea. He said that he knows this amazing vocalist who is also a veteran, and it happens to be on the Veterans Day, so let's just blow this out of the water. One, two. I was able to get a little bit of the rehearsal in before the show actually begins and to hear Lisa and Lyons' incredible vocals and beautiful music of 18-piece bands surrounding and her singing patriotic songs that are so meaningful to us all was beautiful. It's, it's not about the center. Tonight is all about the veterans, first responders, and the people who served. The military was a part of the big band era at the time, so in some ways I think it's really paying an honor to that uh, art form and the, and the culture of big bands. It means a lot to me to carry on the legacy that my father also started uh, when he joined the Air Force as a navigator. There have not been as many women in the military, but it's getting, getting a lot better. I think it's very important to have diversity. Please welcome Ms. Lisa Ann Lyons. You know, I strongly believe that if there is a problem, the arts can solve it. But specifically for a day like this, where we get to honor our heroes and we get to say thank you to them for everything they do for us, is amazing. Yeah.